Morning. Well, this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? <laughs> Just down at Cornwall this morning. Set the camera up on the edge. Hopeful that we can get some decent light. However, as you may see, it's not very good. It's very misty, moody. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try and get myself a, a nice moody shot of the um, of the beach here, which is Trevorans Cove. It's a very calm morning. Pretty quiet, just the way I like it, nobody around. I'll take you through what I'm doing. I'm trying to get some of these yellow flowers in the foreground, and then it pulls you through the image. Well, this is what I'm thinking anyway. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, and um, yeah, I'll show you my settings. This camera that I'm using is a Nikon D850. Now this camera has a in-body focus stacking mode um, which in some instances is good but most of the time I like to do it manually I don't need four or five or six focus stacking shots I just would like the foreground to be relatively sharp and of course the background and then uh, when I'm in post processing I'll simply just stitch those together and it should be a nice crisp sharp image from front to back So I think I found another composition. There's some houses over here on the cliff edge. There's a one, two, and three. Um, what I'm gonna try and do is use a telephoto lens to zoom into those houses. I've got a little bit of the beach and the sea in the frame, but the main, the main focus uh, in the foreground is these yellow flowers again, which clearly I'm completely obsessed with. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. Nice blurred yellow foreground and uh, the houses in the background. I'm at f8, ISO 64, and focal length on the, at around 120 mil. Auto focus is fine for this shot. Five second timer to eliminate any camera shake. And the shot's taken. Um, I have taken two frames, uh, one darker, one lighter exposed, and uh, hopefully blend those two together to create an half decent image. It's not an amazing image, but in the circumstances and given the weather conditions, which are not ideal, I think it'll look quite nice. In fact, as if you can see from the but there's a lot of mist and fog rolling in there so I might take a few more shots it really is quite moody but at the same time very beautiful So I think 
think that's it for today. Um, as you can see from behind me, it's a complete whiteout. Um, the fog has really started to come in now. I can't even see the, the edge of the, the edge of the cliffs over there. Um, pretty confident we got some good images. I'm hopeful that we can do some more of this in the future. Uh, some more Cornwall. Some more Cornwall trips. There's loads of little places around here, little coves um, to explore, uh, and I'm confident that there's, there's some amazing images to be to be shot here. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's a it's a world away from Birmingham city centre, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, there'll be some more coming. So, see you soon. Bye bye. Hold fire, don't switch off just yet. I have a few more things I'd like to talk about before the video ends. Uh, firstly, um, I did take some additional photographs on the trip, uh, two additional photographs which did not feature in the video and I'd like to show them to you. Um, the first image is an image that I took when I arrived at Trevornan's Cove uh, the evening before. Um, I arrived quite late in the evening, the sun had already gone down unfortunately, but I did rush down to the beach, it was high tide, and I was hoping to get some, uh, some beach style images with some rocks in the foreground and some waves crashing around. Um, I did manage to capture one image that I'm quite happy with, in fact I'd, I'd probably say that it was my most favourite image from the whole trip. Um, I'll put it up at the end of the video, uh, I would appreciate your comments on the photograph which one you prefer out of all of them and in addition to that one there's a second image uh, taken um, from the same cliff that I was on in the video uh, it's from a different perspective a different angle um, it doesn't feature the yellow flowers <laughs> it's a little bit different um, and I actually do prefer that one I know in the video that I was focusing upon those yellow flowers and I, I was I was uh, really trying hard to get to get an image that I was happy with um, but this one that I'm going to show you at the end uh, I actually prefer this image um, again I, I would welcome your comments on that uh, so I think that's uh, four four images in total from the trip uh, please let me know which one you prefer in the comments below uh, just out of, out of interest so yeah uh, uh, please can I ask that you like and subscribe if, if you enjoyed this video uh, that will help me to to push the channel forward and, and make more videos. I do enjoy doing this, uh, but I have to say it is hard work and it's it's quite hard trying to focus on the photography and at the same time try and video yourself doing it. It's it's very challenging, but but I am in, I am enjoying it. Well, I'm not enjoying carrying two tripods around, but that's what comes with it, I suppose. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I will see you again next time. So thank you again for watching. See you, bye bye.